Yo, what up? What's poppin'? Back at it again with another video for y'all. I just want to give some motivation, and this is another hip-hop video. I, well, this this is actually a, a hip-hop motivational video because I want to give some motivation to the fellow lyricists out there, to my fellow lyricists out there, to all my rappers that are lyrical, to all my rappers that are lyrical, to all my hip-hop artists out there that are lyrical, that keep it 100, that are great storytellers. I just want to give y'all some motivation. It's 2023, and it's still okay to be a lyricist. It's always going to be okay to be a lyricist because... Without, without, without real rappers, without real artists, without dopeness, you know, when it comes down to hip hop, you know, I mean, hip hop, I don't think hip hop would be able to really even exist anymore. I mean, like, you don't really see a whole lot of lyricism in the mainstream. I mean, in the mainstream, you got J. Cole, you got Kendrick Lamar, you got Corday, Jack Harlow. I would even say Token. I mean, Token, Token is not really an independent artist anymore. I mean, Token, he has his own label, Never Too Different, and he got him like a distribution deal with Atlantic. I mean, Token is not really an independent artist anymore, unfortunately. But yeah, and you also got Wale, you got Big Sean, you got Drake, you got Meek Mill. But other than that, mainstream hip hop, they promote a bunch of negativity. There's still talent in hip hop. You still got rappers in hip hop that can actually rap. You just got to check out the underground scene. You just got to check out the independent scene. I mean, as an independent artist, you can make a name for yourself in the underground scene. You know, what I mean, me personally, as an independent artist, I kind of don't even really want to be mainstream at all. I mean, if there was like some labels like Dreamville, like if Dreamville Records, like if if J. Cole and his team were to hit me up, like I'll see what they working with. But other than that... I'd rather just stay an independent artist because there's just too much ignorant ignorance in mainstream hip hop. I mean, in mainstream hip hop, they do not promote conscious rappers. And that's the type of lyricist that I am. I'm a conscious lyricist. I'm a conscious rapper. I even wrote a song called The Conscious Rapper because that's the type of rapper that I am. With all the stuff that I've been through in my past, I could never, ever mumble rap. I've done been through way too much stuff. And I, and I know, and I know, you know, the fellow lyricist watching this video, I know y'all could never, ever mumble rap either with all the stuff that you've been through. You probably been through worse stuff than I've been through. You know, what I mean, all of us have a story to tell, but... Yeah, it's 2023, and it's still gonna be okay to be a lyricist. If if they if they're completely if they're gonna completely take a lyricism away from from hip hop, hip hop wouldn't even be a genre anymore. They they got they gotta have role rappers. They gotta have rappers that can actually rap. I could never ever mumble rap. You know, with all the stuff that I've been through, I gotta keep it real. But yeah, I just wanted to share this video with y'all, chat with y'all. You know, this is a hip-hop motivational video to all the lyricists out there. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel, comment, share, like the video. And again, my new song, Hip Hop is a Martial Art, it's on my YouTube channel, and it's also on my SoundCloud. You can follow me on SoundCloud at Wally G. Let's run it up. Let's blow it up. Love y'all.